Hello, hello. Hi, Jenny. How are you today? Good? I cannot listen to you. I cannot listen. I don't know why. Hello? Yes, now I can. Yes, I can listen to you. How are you today, Jenny? So, so. <laughs> so, so? Why? <laughs> Oh my God, you are sick again, right? Oh sí. my God, you have to take some pills, right? Some vitamins. Yes, um, yes. Sí, yo tengo casi como más de tres semanas, quizás que no se me quita. Imagine, be careful, right? Porque así estaba yo y se me hizo bronquitis, right? Sí, ya, yeah, me dijeron que tenía faringitis aguda. Eh, la vez que fui y ahora me dijeron que tenía, no me recuerdo cómo es que se llamaba, pero igual es por lo mismo de la faringitis algo así. Ajá. Así que... no, hay que tomarse las medicinas para cuidarnos <risa> y que no siga más tiempo, ¿ok? Nice to see you, Jenny. Hello, Bernardino. How are you today? It's the dream of Julio. <risa> yes. She needs to drink of Julio. Ah, yes. So that she cleaned the throat, right? <laughs> she needs to drink a little bit. <laughs> How are you today, Fernandino? I'm driving right now for home. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me so that I cannot interrupt you, okay? Thanks. Thanks for being responsible and being here. Hi, Adri. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are I'm you, fine. Adri? And you? I think I'm okay also. A little bit tired, right? Because of the university, but I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh my God. Look at who is here, right? The famous Carlita appeared, right? Imagine. Hello. How are you, Carlita? Fine. Fine. Long <laughs> time without seeing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but nice to have you here. Thanks for being here, okay? Marlene, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Well, I'm okay, I think. What about you? Fine, thank you. Fine, excellent. Okay, guys, thanks for being right here, for being pun punctual, let's say, <laughs> but for taking the, the responsibility to be here, okay? Now, we are going to start with today's class. Happy Tuesday, right? Um, Today, well, during this week, let me tell you that I will not explain grammar, okay? Because the grammar things are already done in the platform. So I will focus in your skills, okay? In your listening, in your comprehension, in your writing, and in your speaking, okay? Mostly in your speaking, Okay. Teacher? Yes. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Esta es la última semana o todavía falta parte de la otra? No, this is the last the last week. Mm -hmm. Yes. On mm -hmm. on Thursday we are going to have our last class and you finish, right? Y no sabe cuándo van a iniciar las otras. No, sadly no. I don't know, Marlene. Okay, I will thank ask. you. And I will let you know, okay? Excellent, nice question, okay? So I was telling you that I will develop, I will try to develop your speaking skills. So I want you to be cotorros and cotorras today, right? Together, all of us, we are going to be like that. So, but first we are going to start with this little practice. So look at it, Um, we have on scramble sentence, okay? We have scramble sentence and you have to unscramble the sentence to put the words in the correct order, okay? As you could see, <clears throat> sorry for my voice. As you could see, we have, all of them are in the past. So be careful when we have WH, right? The auxiliary and all those things so that you pay attention to that and follow the correct order of it. So um, there are only four questions. So I think that four minutes is enough. One minute per question, okay? So until now, you're going to have 
only four minutes to do so. So please go ahead and start. And please let me know if you have questions or doubts and in case you finish before, okay? Go ahead, please. Hello, teacher. Uh, disculpe, no lo entendí muy bien. ¿Qué es lo que íbamos a hacer ahí? Okay. We are going to put in the correct order the words. Ah, Renar. We are going to order, exactly. Okay. Gracias. Yes. Go ahead, please. If you have questions, let me know, okay? All right, did you finish? Yes. Audrey, yes, and the rest? Yeah. Marlene. One more minute. One more minute. Okay, Audrey. So we are going to wait just one more minute, okay?
All right, one minute is done. So did you finish now? Yes. Okay, so we are going to start with Adri, okay? Go ahead, Adri, please. Did you have number one? And number one is, where did you grow up? Excellent. Where did you grow up? Excellent. Adri, where did you grow up? I, I grew up in Santana. Okay, excellent. Good answer. What about you, Marlene? Can you tell me number two, please? No, teacher, sorry. No, okay. Me perdí. Okay, don't worry. What about you, Jenny? Do you have number two? Um, who, who were you in the jar? Okay. Uh, how? How? Where? Uh -huh. Let's see. How were? In the jar. I am. Um, Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand, exactly. Okay, and old. we are missing old and you. Old. Right here, old. Okay. And then? And what about you? <laughs> uh, yo, yo lo había puesto después de where. Okay. Okay, es la que casi me costó en la plataforma. Okay. Yes, I remember. Esa está difícil, teacher. Yes, I know. A little bit, right? It says, the way Jenny said it was, how were you in the year 2000? Mm -hmm. Until here, it's almost correct. So we have to see where we put this word, old. How old? Exactly. We're going to say, how old were mm -hmm. you in the year 2000? Okay, how old? Remember that the WH goes with all. How old? Together. How old? Exactly. How, how old, old were you in the year 2000? How old were you in the year 2000? Excellent. Okay, Jenny, this question is for you. How old were you in the year 2000? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, you don't know the meaning. Okay. This, it means cuantos años, right? Ajá, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos años, años tengo? Tenía. Oh, tenía. Tenía porque es el año 2000. Oh. Ah. Um, oh creo que tengo como... Digo que como unos... 23. ¿23? Digo yo. <risas> ok, pero porque si en el 2000 tenía 23 y ahorita estamos en el 2023, quiere decir que ahorita tiene 46 años, Jenny. Ouch. Yo creo que entonces sería... Ajá. ¿Cuántos años tenía en el 2000? Four. ¿Four? ¿De qué año es? Ajá. ¿En qué año Four. nació Jenny? Ah, uh, 1996. Ok. Four. Yes. It will be four, right? Yo soy de mate. Yes, it will be four. four. <laughs> yes. I was four years Oh, it will be. Exactly. Thank you, I Jenny. Four years old. <laughs> exactly. Four years old. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Le hicimos ocupar la mate, right? Today. 
y a la teacher también, que le cuesta. No soy tan buena para eso. <ríe> Yo tampoco. <ríe> Yo tampoco, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Carlita, can you help me with number three, please? Yes, teacher. Uh, when did you begin to study English? Excellent. When did you begin to In study Oops. English? Excellent. Okay, this question is for you. When did you begin to study English? I began studying English in this year. Okay, it wow. will be in the past. Begin, it's going to be begun. Begun. Exactly. I began to study English this year. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, thank you. And the last one, probably Marlene can help me. Yes, teacher. Please, go ahead. When were you born? When were you born? Exactly. So this question is for you. When were you born, Marlene? I'm born on the 12th of May, 1918. <laughs> Diecinueve, mil, okay, mil novecientos, sí, okay, sí, ya ni me acuerdo en qué año, pero me ninety, nineteen, eighty five, yes, okay, mil novecientos ochenta y cinco, excellent, okay, that was all good, perfect, thank you so much, Marlene, and welcome, Estrella, right, Estrella and Rosa Elba, welcome to the class. So look at it, this is full HD, right? So sorry for that. How are you today, Estrella? Good? Yes or not? Good, 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 excellent. <laughs> excellent, okay, nice. Perfect. So look at it. We are going to have this little practice. It was similar to yesterday's practice, right? In which we have to use was or were, depending to the subject, okay? Remember that if I have two, two girls, for example, Adri and Raquel, I am not going to use was because the two of them are she. I'm going to use where because I can replace Adri and Carlita with they. Okay? So, go ahead, please. I will give you only, only two minutes because this part is really easy. Okay? So, you are going to have only two minutes because I have another activity. And for the other one, I will give you more time, okay? Just to for you to be ready mentally, right? It's going to be a short presentation, okay? Just for you to have an idea. So please, go ahead. You will have only two minutes to do so. Fill the blanks, please. And in case you have questions or doubts, remember that the teacher is right here. Teacher, uh, yes. Me, uh, uh, what is the name of city? It's going to be Incheon. <laughs> Incheon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of weird, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank weird you. name. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you are missing only one more minute. All right, two minutes are done. So let's start. I will ask one, no, I will ask for a volunteer because I think this part is easy. Okay, so do I have a volunteer for the first one? Or do I have to choose my volunteer? Yes, it's you. you. I... Oh, go ahead, please. My family and... I were all born in Korea. Uh, we weren't born in the USA. I was born in the city of Incheon. Okay. And my brother, uh, brother was born there too. There too, my parents. Um, were born in the in Chon. They were born in the Seoul. Okay, they were born in the capital Seoul. Okay, that was all good. Thank you so much. Only one thing. Okay, I will correct only one thing. Is this part? about the intonation, right? And the punctuation. Because for example, in this part, uh, let me show it to you. Okay, remember that right here we have a little period. So it's going to be, my brother was born there too. And we finish there, okay? Because we start a new sentence day. We say, my parents weren't born in Incheon. Okay, only that little detail about the punctuation, okay? But for the rest, it was so good. I love it a lot, okay? So good. Thank you so much. You see, you had zero mistakes. That was so good. Congratulations for you, Estrella. You did an outstanding job. So all of you had the same as Estrella or not? Yes. 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 What about you, Carlita? Do you have the same or not? Yes, teacher. Yes. Jenny? Yes. Marlene? Yes, okay. Rosa Elba, do you have the same? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So now, guys, now we have the same. I'm going to move on into the next activity in which I'm going to give you more time. Look at it. I have Mr. Harry Styles right here. Okay. So now we are going to talk about our favorite, oops, the camera, our favorite singer. Okay. You are going to prefer a short presentation. Okay. When I say a short presentation, I am not saying like you will come and say, uh, my favorite artist is Harry Styles. I love his music and thank you. No, right? This this is a little a, but really short presentation. I want you to tell me, for example, the day of birth, fecha de nacimiento, right? Date of birth. Aha, you see, I will type it in the chat. Date of birth, fecha de nacimiento, right? How old is that person? I mean, the age of that person, right? Also, the albums, 
your favorite song? Uh, the place or the city in which your favorite artist was born? Okay, I want you to tell me the reason why you like that artist, right? Okay, so there you go. In the chat, I gave you some options. So I want you to prepare a short presentation. I don't want you to do a, a PowerPoint presentation. No, no, no. But I want you to write, not all the script, but write the principal ideas. Okay? So when you come here, when I say Marlene, for example, uh, Marlene will take the notebook or the cell phone and will say, okay, my favorite artist is Mark Anthony, right? He was born in this place. Okay, the day of birth is this one. And she will start telling me the story of Mark Anthony, for example. Okay. So now I will ask you, how much time do you want? I want to listen to some options, okay? For example, let's start. Jenny, how much time do you want for this activity? Two minutes. <laughs> uh -huh. yes, Jenny? How much time? Do you want for this activity? ¿Cuánto tiempo mm. quiere? Uh -huh. Ajá, para hacer esta actividad. Uh, Let's see. Yo 10 minutos. 10 minutes, Rosa Elba. Okay, what about you, Jenny? 10 minutes? Quizás igual. Yes. What about you, Adri? What about you? Um, ten. Ten. Okay, Carlita, do you think the same? Yes. Yes, ten. Okay, Estrella, are you in agreement? ¿Está de acuerdo, Estrella? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so yes, I will give you ten minutes, you see? I considerate my students. So you will have 10 minutes from now. Okay? So go ahead, please. If you don't know how to say a word, right? You just ask me, please, because I'm here. Teacher, excuse me, el gentilicio de, de un guate, el guatemalteco como tal. ¿El what? Sorry. El gentilicio de los, de los guatemaltecos. Ok, it will be Guatemalan. Guatemalan. Okay. Guatemalan okay. with N. I will type it in the chat. Ok, it will be like that. Guatemalan. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. You are going to talk about, let me see, Ricardo Arjona. Exactly, you see?
Okay, you are missing five more minutes, okay? Okay, Marlene, are you ready? So, so. So, so. Okay, let me give me a second. I will look for a roulette, right? So that I can have your names, right? And I can choose the person who is going to, to say the things. Okay, let me see. How I can change it. Ah, here I have it. So we are going to have, oops, Adri, Marlene, we have Carlita, oops, Carlita, we have Jenny, Rosa Elba, Estrella. Let me see who else is here. I think that Bernardino no right because he is driving. Um, let me see if I am missing another one. Adri already, Rosael, Estrella, Carlita, Marleni. Bernardino no. Okay, so I think that we have all, all the people right here. So let me see. The first person it's going to be the chosen one. I almost look at it. 
Okay, Carlita. Bravo, Carlita. Okay. You are going to be the first one. Go ahead, please. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. A ver si no me equivoco. Don't worry, okay? Aquí estamos para aprender. Vale. My, my favorite singer is Selena Gomez. Okay. Born in July uh, 22. Okay. In 1,992, teacher, 1,900. Okay, Carlita, los Ajá. números sí los podemos dividir en dos. Okay, sí. 1,900. Sí, sería 1992, right? Ajá. Entonces diríamos primero 19 y después 92. Sería 1992. 92, ok. Ok. Go she, ahead. she was born in Texas and actually she has 31 years old. Ok. And that's it. Or not. She, ok. Go ahead. She's a singer, actress, and producer. Okay. And my favorite song is A Year Without, Without Rain. Okay. Uh huh. And that's it. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank that you. was so good, Carlita. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, Carlita is done, right? We are going to remove it. And let's see, let's see the next victim volunteer. It's going to be Rosa Elba. Okay, Rosa Elba, you are the sure. winner. Go Yo, ahead. la verdad, lo hice distinto, teacher, porque no tengo un singer favorito. Mm -hmm. Así que podemos, ¿cómo puedo hablar como una biografía mía? Yes, for sure. Okay. Yes. I, okay. I was born in March 2003. Okay. I am originally from Santa Ana. I studied at the Gerardo Barrio School. I like to play a lot of soccer and tennis. Our team won the soccer championship. My best friend was called Paul. Okay. With my family, my movie to Congo Santa Ana, where I studied high school and was one of the best with outstanding grade. Okay. And that's it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. That was so good. Thank you, Rosalba. A good description of yourself. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Now let's see, we are going to remove Rosa Elba and we have only four more options. Let's see the next one. And there you go. You are the chosen one, Marlene, the winner. Go ahead, please, Marlene. We are <laughs> all ears. Okay, teacher, you are, my teacher is a, a wish. Okay. Because Let's... my favorite singer is Mark Anthony. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. You see? <laughs> yes. Uh, my favorite singer is Mark Anthony because his voice is naturally in his song songs as well as a, a scenery. Mm -hmm. He was born in September uh, 16, mm -hmm. 16, 9, 1968. Okay. He was born in New York. Okay, I didn't know my, that. <laughs> my favorite song is When I Dream at Night. 
and some, some albums are contra la corriente y amar sin mentiras in Spanish. Yes. <laughs> Only that. Only that. Okay. Thank you so much, Marleni. Okay. Good job. You did excellent. I like it a lot. You see, I said my Mark Anthony, right? Like joking, <laughs> but you see? Thank you, teacher. All things, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marleni. That was a good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We are going to remove. And let's see. We have three finalists right here. You see? Adri, go ahead, please, Adri. Your turn. Okay. My favorite singer is Ricardo Arjona. And Ricardo Arjona is a singer, Guatemala. He was born in January 19, in 1964, in Jocotenango, Guatemala. He is uh, 59 years old. He has uh, 17 albums in the studio for live albums and 22 compilations. And my favorite song is Dime Que No. He is my favorite singer because his songs uh, have a lot of meaning and I grew up listening to his songs. Excellent. I like it. Yes, that was so good. Thank you so much, Adri. Good job. I like it. I like his music also, right? I like it a lot. I like the song that says about Don David, right? Buenas noches, Don David, ¿cómo le va? That one. I love that one. That is my favorite, I think. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Adri. Good job. I like it a lot. That was awesome. Okay. Let's remove Adri. And we only have two, right? Estrella, Mr. Star, and Jenny. So you want Estrella? Go ahead, please. Hello, teacher. My favorite singer is is Sharon. Uh, your name is Edward Christopher Sharon. Okay. Born, uh -huh, born in um, 17 February of uh, 1991. Okay. Is British. Okay. British singer, uh, song writer, and musician. Mm -hmm. uh, I love his song perfect. Okay, excellent. Um in, sep in September uh, 2011, uh -huh. uh, he raced re re released uh, his, his debut album. Uh, the album is Lady, the single, um, D, D, A, Team. Okay. Team. Okay, the group, right, the team. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much, Estrella. That was so good. Claps for you. Congratulations. I um, love Ed Sheeran also too, right? He is not my favorite artist, but I love him. I like a lot one song that is Galway Girl, I think. Um, I don't chef know. Of, oh. chef, chef of Judah. <laughs> okay. I love I love the rhythm, right? She played and sang, but then I was standing, feeling no good an Englishman. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics, but I love it. Okay. Thank you so much, Estrella. And the last one, right? As you could see right here, we only have one more. And it's going to be Jenny. So please, Jenny, go ahead. We are all ears for you. Hello. Hello. Ah, pues no sé si es así como lo lo había hecho. Hey, don't worry. Ah, había hecho como así como presentarme. Uh, hi, my name is Jennifer. Okay, um, no problem. My, my birthday is on August 12. Um, I am 27 years old. Mm -hmm. I have 
um, a photo album. You have what? Sorry. Something? Algo? Al album. Album. What? Yeah, it will be the same in English. Album. Album. Yeah. Um, they. <coughs> My favorite music is la música cristiana. Okay, Christian music. Um, it's Christian music. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie is Fast Furious. Okay. Um, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. And Furious. Uh huh. Um, my singer favorite is um, Leon Lionel Touch. Okay. Um, uh, my family, I um. Uh, from in the Santana <laughs> from Santana Santana uh -huh. mm -hmm. Solamente eso, yeah. only that okay no problem <laughs> thank you so much Jenny for sharing <laughs> your information with us that was incredible okay thank you so much you see you look younger when I see your face when I saw your face I didn't think you have 27. I thought you have, you you have, imagine the teacher saying you have. Oh my God. I, I thought that you were 19 or something like that. But thank you so much, Jenny. Okay, guys, we finished <laughs> with this activity. Thank you so much for giving a trial to try, right, to speak a little bit of English. Okay, right now I'm going to give you some feedback. Okay. For you to improve in some things it is natural and normal that we make mistakes even the teacher you see the teacher that it's supposed that she knows english she makes mistakes so that is completely normal right when you are talking even in spanish we make mistakes now imagine in another language right so that is normal so the first word that i have right here for you is this one actually we tend to think that this word means actualmente, right? Right, actualmente. But actually doesn't mean doesn't mean actualmente. Alguien sabe qué significa actually? Ajá. Uh -huh. No, nadie este sabe. Momento, Sorry. En este momento. No. No. Actually, de hecho. exactly, de hecho. Actually means de hecho. Ok, si nosotros queremos decir actualmente, en inglés existe la palabra, oops, give me a second, currently, ok, currently. We can have a lot of words to say actualmente. We can have currently. We can have also these days, right? Also, we can say at the moment, okay? So you have different ways, but the most common one, it's going to be currently, okay? So there you go. Actually means de hecho, y actualmente es currently. There you go with that part. Now let's continue with another one that I have right here, okay? It's going to be, if we have like uh, the citizen, it means nacionalidad de algún artista, it will be la nacionalidad primero y después singer. For example, Ed Sheeran, right? As you said, someone said that. It will be British singer, okay? Uh, for example, Selena Gomez, it's going to be American singer. Um, the other one, another one that you mentioned was uh, Ricardo Arjona, right? For example, Ricardo Arjona is Guatemalan, Guatemalan singer, okay? So all the time you have the name of the, of the citizenship and then 
you have singer. But you will never have, uh, for example, singer British, singer American, or singer Guatemalan. Okay? So there you go. Be careful with that part. And cuando nos queremos referir a su nombre, su nombre de él o de ella, podemos decir, si estamos hablando de él, por ejemplo, Adri habló de Ricardo Arjona, right? Entonces, él, ella me quiere decir su nombre, pero su nombre refiriéndose a él sería his name, ¿ok? Y si quiero hablar de Selena Gómez, entonces sería her name. Estamos diciendo en español su nombre, pero de él o de ella. ¿Por qué le digo eso? Porque si decimos your name, están diciendo mi nombre. O sea, sería, for example, I can say your name, refiriéndome con Adri, right? And Adri can say yes, but my name is Adri, not Ricardo Arjona, right? Not Ed Sheeran. Okay, so be careful in that. Okay, when you say your name is when you refer to the person you are talking with. Cuando nos referimos a la persona con la que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, yo no conozco a Estrella, right? And I can say, yes, your name is, su nombre es, right? In that case, is totally okay. Okay? Pero cuando nos referimos a otra persona, ocupamos his or her name. Another one. Escuché yo por ahí que alguien mencionó una fecha y dijeron 2011. Mm -hmm. How was it? ¿Cómo was it, right? 2011? ¿Cómo es eso? In Spanish? In Spanish. In French, we can have this. But in English, no, right? In English, cuando nos queremos referir, por ejemplo, en este caso, 2011, si sumamos, sería 31, right? Pero tenemos en inglés una palabra que significa 31. ¿Qué sería? ¿Cuál? Ajá. ¿Cómo decimos 31 en inglés? 31. Exactly. We say it. 31. We say 31. Okay. So be careful in that way. I don't know if that was a mistake, like 20, 20 and then that person reminds, right? Ah, it was 11, and it was 2011. But in case, there you go. Then Jenny asked me about the pronunciation, right? It will be fast and furious. Fast, and then you have N, furious. Okay, there you go with the pronunciation. It will be furious. Furious. Okay, furious. Fast and furious. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, yeah, I, I, am, I am home. Okay. But uh, you're talking about 2011. Yes. Is it possible that she's talking about the 2011? Yes, it will be possible if we are talking about a year. But in this case, she was talking about a date, not a ah, year. Okay. okay? Yes. yes, Bernardino, right. Tiene razón, Bernardino. Si estamos hablando de un año... Sí podemos decirlo así, 2011, un año, pero una fecha, no, ¿ok? Excellent, Bernardino, good observation, that was a good, okay. thank you. So, another one, it's going to be, recuerdan cuando vimos adjetivos, poníamos el adjetivo primero y luego el sustantivo. En este caso, que estamos hablando de artistas favoritos, sería, my favorite Singer in this case, okay? So look at it. Siempre vamos a tener my favorite singer. Nunca vamos a decir my singer favorite. No, okay? Igual, va a ser my favorite movie, my favorite series. We are not going to say my movie favorite. No, okay? And listen to the pronunciation of this word. This word, it's going to be favorite. Favorite, okay? Favorite. There you go with the pronunciation, okay? So, do you have any question or any doubt about the pronunciation of any word or not? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. I don't have questions. No, teacher. Thank you, Hernandino. Thank you so much. You are so kind with me. Okay. 
So look at the hour. It is already nine o'clock. So I think that we have to finish right here with today's class. I hope to see you tomorrow. For tomorrow, just like to advise you. Tomorrow we are going to have a dictation practice for you to practice more about writing and listening, okay? So please enter to the class because we are going to have more activities. So thank you so much for being right here. Congratulations because you are speaking English so good. Hope to see you tomorrow and have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.